Hello everyone. In this video, I will tell you about slopes and curvatures. This is very much important. We mix up things. Now, we are going to explain how they are different. Slope means simply the first order derivative. For example, y equal to 3x square minus 9x plus 9. So the slope will be dy dx, 6x minus 9, that's it. This is the slope. Sometimes they give you the x value, like x value is 2. So you can put these values here, dy dx at x equal to 2. So this will give you 12 minus 9. So slope is 3 and it is positively slope. Very easy. If this dy dx greater than 0, we call it positively sloped and negative if this is the zero, so negative is slope. Okay, so this is the basic formation of a slope. Now, what happens in case of a curvature? Curvature is nothing but the second order derivative. For example, here we have dy dx is 6x minus 9. So now, we are going to do it as d2 by dx2. d2 by dx2 either may be greater than zero, or maybe less than zero. In this case, it will come like only six, which is makes it positive. So there are two types of curvature. One is concave, another one is convex with respect to origin. With these two, we can find out the structure by utilizing the second order condition. Okay. So this is all about the curvature. And curvature tells it whether it is concave. For example, this curve is an upward sloping curve. But is it concave or convex? Because the curvature is zero. A linear function has zero curvature. Because if it is a linear function y equal to x plus 9, d2 by dx2 will give us zero. So that's why a linear function has zero curvature. So now, here, if you want to get it as a concave curve, it will look like this or a convex curve it will look like this convex and this one is simply concave utilizing the second order condition whether it is greater than 0 or less than 0 thank you